Oh yeah. Ah. All right. Another fish at 12 feet. Oh, a double. I got one on the other rod too. Oh boy. That seems to be a bigger fish. What now? <laughs> oh man. Okay. Pandemonium. Pandemonium. <laughs> oh man. I don't know if I lost that one or not. No, he's still there. It's a scrapper here. These fish just don't give up. Wow. Oh yeah. <laughs> Whew, there's that one. Now. This one wanted to pull the rod out of the boat. Let's see what he's like. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh, they fight so hard over here in the high Sierra. That's not even that big of a fish. He's nice. He's not huge. Just a scrapper. Woo, there we go. Wow. Look at those big, beautiful rainbows. That's what trolling flies can do. You think trolling flies don't work? Well, think again. You need to grab a set of my trolling flies, get out on the water, and get ready to go big. Ha <laughs> ha, yes. Shallow flats can be key areas whenever the weather and the water is cold. You know, early spring, winter, late fall, um, shallow areas, they attract fish. They're warmer than the rest of the lake. They have more bug life, more minnow life than the rest of the lake. They're just warmer, they're more comfortable, and they attract fish. Now this bank right here, let me fire up the handheld. Let's see here, there we go. Look at the pitch of that shoreline. See how it drops gently into the water? I'm here, I'm about 150 feet offshore and the water's 21 feet deep, but it's gonna start getting even shallower. Now, that, that bank there is fairly featureless. There's a few stumps, there's a few bigger rocks, but the main fish attracting you know, feature of this bank is the fact that it warms up quicker than the rest of the lake. This bank here is about a degree warmer than the water right off the shore. And as you can see, you know, it's nine o'clock in the morning, it's early November, and that bank is already in full sun. So this is an area where I like to troll through it. I've caught a lot of fish here trolling, but this is an area where I like to come and bank fish in the dead of winter. Um, typically, I'll toss out one bait floating off the bottom, probably an inflated worm, sometimes power bait. I'll float it off the bottom about 24 inches, and I also like to throw a slip bobber or I like to fan cast with something I can get some distance with. Um, this is a good area for throwing a fly and bubble. Um, the water is very clear here. You know, when I'm in like 12, 13 feet of water, I can start seeing the bottom. And that tells me that, you know, any fish cruising along the bottom, they can look up and they can see a worm under a slip bobber. They can see a fly behind a bubble, stuff like that. And certainly they can see my trolled spoons through here real well. So shallow banks like this, they are just... Uh, they're major fish attractors when the weather's cold. And uh, unfortunately, a lot of anglers, they overlook these kind of areas. Um, they think the water's shallow and shallow water and good fishing just don't mix. And uh, that would be true in the summer. This isn't the spot you wanna come out here on a, on a summer day when it's 80 degrees and try to catch trout because it's warmer than the rest of the lake. The fish are gonna be out there in the deep water where it's cool. But during the cool months, it's just the opposite. They like to be warm and comfortable as much as we do. And when the water starts getting down in the lower 50s, they're looking for areas that are a degree or two warmer than the rest of the lake just because it's more comfortable to them. So anyhow, I remember a spot at uh, Lake Del Val when I was a teenager. I used to go out with my neighbor. His name was Red. And uh, 
he had a car topper boat and we used to run about halfway down Lake Del Val in December and January and there was a big shallow bay in there where the water was it was probably five or six feet deep and we would go up in there we would beach the boat and we would get off and fish off the bank and we'd be fishing in three or four feet of water max and whoa oh tangled tangled the bottom that is shallow water right there um but uh anyhow we would go up in that shallow water i gotta go back around and get this out go up in that shallow water and do really well um particularly if uh if it was overcast you know it would be doubly good if it was overcast so anyway i got a situation to deal with here but just remember when the water's cold shallow banks like this can be dynamite but uh you know if you're trolling you got to watch the depth when you're talking to the camera you'll snag the bottom i probably snagged a stump there so we'll see what's going on with this and uh, we'll get on the move here and we will check out another topographical feature after i get my gear on tangle um, if you haven't had a chance to subscribe to the channel yet guys go ahead and hit that subscribe button doesn't cost anything and uh, we certainly sub uh, appreciate all the support we've been getting from you guys we're about to go over 10,000 subscribers really soon and uh, it's getting really exciting here on the channel it's a lot more exciting than this tangle I got uh, you guys are probably wondering if I'm gonna get this out maybe I'll stick around here for a second See what you do when you're tangled. I immediately went back on that. I don't know about my other line. It's probably back there getting snagged as well, but hopefully not. Yep, right there. Right there it is. It's a stump. Oh, and I, I came out. So, ha ha, there you go. Got my stuff out. It's all good. Anyway, please hit that subscribe button. Guys, I will catch you next time. And remember, when the water's cold, don't overlook these shallow flats. Um, but you want to keep your eye on the sonar unit. That, that was about... What is that? As I had out about two and a half colors of lead core, and that was seven, eight feet deep. So, whenever you uh, tangle like that, especially if you're using lead core, it's always kind of good to make a note of how much line did I have out, how deep was that. So you kind of dialed in on how deep your lines run. And anyway, I've blabbered long enough. Don't overlook those shallow banks, those shallow flats. When the water's cold, they can be real fish magnets. And uh, most guys don't fish them, but uh, if there's fish holding on a bank like this. You can put a whooping on them. Anyway, I'm Kel Kellogg. I'm out of here, and we will be back uh, real soon with another topographical feature to talk about. Thanks a lot, guys.